Okay, here we have our linear equations rule of four sheet. And I'll show you the entire sheet. As you can see, we can display every problem in a word problem, a table, an equation, or a graph. And by giving you one of these four, you should be able to calculate the other three. Here I've given you the word problem. And we'll zoom in so we can take a better look. We have Phil starting a stamp collection. He already has five stamps. He plans to add three stamps per week to his collection. Our first step, we're going to come up with an equation for this problem first. Okay? So pause the video here and take a minute and try to come up with an equation that fits this word problem. Okay. Here is the equation you should have come up with for the word problem. Y is the total number of stamps in his collection. 3x, that is 3 stamps per week, where the weeks are represented by the x. We don't know how many weeks. And plus 5, that is representing the 5 stamps that Phil already has in the collection. Now that we have our equation, we can set a table. And I know this says 0 through 10, but to save some space, I'm just going to do 0 through 5. So I want you to pause the video right here and make your own table 0 through 5 using this equation. Okay, so I've set my x values. Now we're going to come up with our y. If we plug in a 0, we get 5. Plug in a 1, 8. And if we continue down, you'll see we get 11, 14, 17, and 20. Okay, now you have your coordinates from the table to set your graph. Okay, take a minute, pause this video, and set your graph. Okay, as you see, I've zoomed in on the graph to make it a little easier to read and to write on. Uh, and here are my data points. And I have 0, 5, 1, 8, 2, 11, 3, 14, 4, 17, and 5, 20. Now you'll notice that I counted my intervals in the y-axis by 2 to have my graph fit a little better. You may have chosen something a little different, maybe 4, maybe 5. Uh, whatever seems to fit the graph, but clearly one probably wouldn't have worked as well. All right, now that we have those dots, we should connect them in a line. So let's do that. And don't forget, because it is a linear equation, you need those arrow tips that tell that they go on forever. So if I zoom back down, now we have, we've lost our equation, so let's put it back y equals 3x plus 5. Okay, so here you have the rule of 4 where the same situation is shown in a word problem, a table, an equation, and a graph. Alright, thanks for watching the video, and I'll be having more coming to you soon.